What's up YouTube, it's James Q Quick, and today I wanna show you how to use a service that's really cool called Twilio to be able to send text messages from a Node application. So we'll go ahead and dive on in. All right, so I just uh, went through a couple of the first steps to signing up for a Twilio account. And uh, you, you can start with a free trial, so you don't have to pay anything. You can test this out. You can uh, get to work with, with Twilio, be able to send text messages, emails with SendGrid actually, if you want to as well. Uh, focus on text messages today. Uh, to do that, you'll need to verify both an email and a phone number. So that's what I've done so far is verify both of those things. And they give you a little bit of uh, kind of an onboarding uh, screen here. So uh, do you write code? Yes, I write code. Preferred language, Node.js. And you can, uh, you can skip through this if, if you want to do this on your own, uh, but I'm going to walk through it today. Uh, what is your goal? Use Twilio in a project? Yes. Um, use it in a hackathon project? Uh, maybe. And then uh, send or receive SMS. That's what I want to do first. So they're going to go through, they're going to do a little bit of stuff for me. You can see I've got a dashboard here with the trial balance. I've got $15.50 that I can spend, which is pretty nice. So this first Twilio project, uh, that's the project name. Obviously you can name this whatever you want. When you work in real projects, you'll want to make sure this is a more realistic name. So what I'm gonna do is go into the docs and the quick start section, go ahead and open that up in a new tab. All right, so with that, uh, programmable SMS quick start. Yes, that's what I want. I wanna click on node. This is just showing you how you can follow, find the documentation to follow along yourself if you want to. And you see they've got a pretty straightforward example here of uh, basically what we're gonna do in Node for uh, sending a an SMS text message. So a couple of things uh, to keep in mind, let me go back to my dashboard. Notice I've got an account SID. Now this is basically just like a unique identifier for this application, my first Twilio project. So this is something you don't, you don't really give this out to anyone, but it's not a big, it's not a huge deal if someone gets that. What is very, very, very secret is this auth token here. And you can see it doesn't even show me that auth token unless I specifically click on show, which I'm not gonna do right now because I wanna make sure it stays hidden from all of you out there that might try to take my auth token. This is the thing that I wanna keep secret. And the way we're gonna do this is we're not going to put our auth token right here in our source code. You never wanna to put tokens of any sort or secret keys or anything like that in your source code. You wanna make sure that they're in maybe, envi or actually not maybe, definitely in environment variables or something like that that is protected that no one else can see. Because if it gets checked into your source control or source code, someone can go and grab your token and that's not good. You don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna scroll over uh, in VS Code. I've got a project uh, or just a folder called uh, like Twilio demo or something. And I've got one JavaScript file here is what we're gonna work with. So uh, let's just kind of start out with, we want two things. We want our account SID and I'll go and grab that here in a second. We want the auth token and we'll fill that in in a second as well. And then we will use those to create a Twilio client. So this will use a require of Twilio and that's gonna return something or it's gonna return a constructor basically that we can call by passing in the account SID and the token. All right, so obviously at this point, you probably are, are aware enough to know that we haven't installed any packages. So what we can do is just initialize this as a JavaScript project basically. So let's do an NPM init. It's going to say, uh, what do you want the name of this to be? Twilio text is good. And I'm just gonna enter in through all of these defaults. So yes, that looks good to me. Now this thing will have a package.json file. Inside of the package.json, it's going to give you a little bit of metadata about the project. And then in a second, it'll show you dependencies that we've installed. So the dependency that we will install is the Twilio package. And I've got the documentation for that up here as well. So you can find this on NPM. Uh, just do a quick search for Twilio. What we're gonna do is go ahead and install this. So npm install Twilio. So this will give us uh, that package inside of our JavaScript project. You will see now that our package.json is updated to show dependencies uh, of Twilio. So we've got a reference to that. And then inside of our node modules folder, there's a ton of things in here. That's because Twilio itself depends on so many other libraries and that's just kind of how JavaScript libraries work. So we now have uh, all of that ready. So the next thing we wanna do is make sure that we're able to get, uh, get credentials basically from environment variables. And again, this is so that we're not putting credentials directly inside of our source code. So I'm gonna create a file called .env. 
And I'm gonna scroll back over and search for .env package in npm. And just to show you here, uh, what we wanna do is install this package and then do a require uh, .config before we actually reference anything. So what this means is we can reference private variables or environment variables from this local .env file while we're in development mode. And then when we're in production, it will go ahead and grab from the actual environment, whatever, wherever you're hosting the project, you can have environment variables and have them get in there that way. We won't talk about hosting, we won't get to hosting in this, but we'll show you how to do this in development. So uh, inside of this project or inside of .env, just wanna install it and then require it and call the config function. And then we'll have access to the variables that we put in there. So let's do an npm install of .env. And just to make sure I do this right, I'm gonna grab that little snippet and put this at the top. So the, the important thing is you need to uh, do this require and call that config function before you actually reference any of those variables. And what we'll have is those variables will be called, uh, let's say Twilio account SID. Notice that syntax of all uppercase and then the, the hyphen, or not the hyphens, underscores in between the, the words. Those are used for uh, pretty commonly for environment variables. And then this will be Twilio auth token. All right, so in Node, how you access environment variables is with this process.env. So now we need to actually make these things happen or actually have them inside of our .env file. So there's the SID and here's the token. And I'll show you what my, you can see my SID here going to copy that so just go in there and copy it bring it back and paste it in and then i'm going to do the same thing for if i spell this correctly twilio auth token do the same thing for the auth token but i won't let you see that because that's the private part that you cannot see so i'll come back here in a second when i'm done all right so i've got both of those things in there just to make sure i'm at least getting the account sid make sure that reference is right i'm going to log this out the account SID just to make sure it's getting picked up. So the way we run this run this application or run this node file is just call node app.js. Now, didn't mention this early on, you have to have node installed on your computer to be able to run this. So make sure if you don't already, you go ahead and install node. So logging out node app.js should log out my account SID, which it did. So it looks like my environment variables are set up appropriately. Okay, so now we're gonna come down and actually use this Twilio client to send a message. So we'll do client dot messages and then call create and inside of create it's going to have a couple of properties one is the body so say this is a test text message and the next two things are the from all right we'll see that in a second and the two so the two is going to be a number um, of where we want to send this text message and i'm going to enter in my phone number here I won't show you that just hopefully so I don't get a bunch of text messages from random people. I'll kind of hide that from you. But the from, what we need to do is actually grab a trial number back in our dashboard. So back in the first Twilio project, we need to get a trial number. So I'll click on that button there. All right, so this popped up with my first Twilio number. Uh, this is what the number is gonna be. That looks good, that's fine. All right, so say choose this number. All right, so there it is. And I'm actually gonna copy it in exactly that format. So no spaces, no parentheses, and the plus behind it. So the plus one to uh, symbolize United States. So done, so I've got that number in place. Now that I've got this number, I'm gonna take this back over and do this as the from, and then I will put my personal number in here as the two, make sure I block that out so you can't see it. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so I've got uh, I've got the from is the Twilio number. Now I've got the two is my personal number. And then uh, after we call the create, we can do a dot dot then. So this returns a promise, so we'll dot then. And then uh, just log out the message. So message, uh, we'll just log out the message completely. So inside of the dot then, it actually uh, returns back the message that was created and sent. Now in case there's something wrong, we can add a dot catch here and then console log the error in case something went wrong. So let's just recap here. We've got, let me move this down a little bit. We've got our uh, .env file. We've got the .env file. We've got the .env package to be able to read in those properties. We've got the account SID and the auth token, our environment variables. 
we're using those to then create a Twilio client, which then calls the messages function or it calls the messages API and then the create function by passing it in object to represent that text message. So now that we've got this up and running, we should be able to run node app JS. And you can see that this logged out a message here and uh, says sent from your Twilio trial account. I think they just uh, pre pin that to the message when it's a trial account and it looks like everything came through. And I don't know how to show you uh, to prove to you that that works, but I do have it on my phone. It did come through on my phone. Uh, and that was obviously just really incredibly simple. So Twilio is an amazing, super fun API for hackathon projects or side projects or any just kind of random ideas you have. A lot of what they're used for are if you think about like doctor's appointments and you get like notices or text messages to remind you about an appointment or you get a text message that says respond back with yes to confirm your appointment, things like that. Uh, really easy to just tie this into an application get a couple of credentials, throw them in here, create a client, and then send off messages. Now, again, uh, this is with a free trial. So at some point, uh, you might have to invest some money into uh, working with this. But with the free trial, you can get started just to prove this stuff works. You can use uh, your trial balance of like $15, I think is what they give you. And you can go from there. I do want to show you one last thing. Twilio is doing a uh, referral uh, program where, let's see if I can get over here. The referral program is if you give if you give a referral link to someone, you give them ten dollars, and then that uh, that gets you ten dollars as well, which is pretty sweet. So uh, I will have my referral link in here that you can use, and then if you sign up for Twilio, share yours with anybody else that you talk to, and then show me something uh, cool that you built with it, and hopefully you had a lot of fun with. So if you've used um, if you've used Twilio before, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. You can expect more uh, content from me on Twilio in the future. Uh, so I'm curious to see how people have used it in the past, what their experience has been. Hopefully it's been positive and then what kind of cool projects you've built with it. So that's going to wrap it up for this video and I'll see you in the next one.